Hi, my name is Martin and I'm the head instructor for Schildwache Potsdam. Since we're all uh, constrained during lockdown, it gets more important than ever to not lose the context of what we do, the context of our solo training. And that is fighting. So we train to fight. So we have to watch fights if we can't practice and can't go to sparring sessions or can't participate in any tournaments. So today we'll watch and analyze a fight from 2018 and it's the Swordfish uh, Woman Longswords final. And it's uh, the fight between Elena Muserina and Isabel Sauring. Okay, I cut down the video quite a bit. You can find the full footage in the link in the video description. Okay, let's begin. Uh, we watch the whole fight at half speed and then we'll have a look frame by frame to analyze actions, timing and mentality or tactics. Okay, we find Elena in red and Isabel in blue. Isabel circling around. And we have the first few actions of the fight. Okay, let's see this in really slow motion. So, we see Isabel circling around right, initiating a thrust here, going forwards. Elena rising up with the hilt of her sword to protect her, which uh, naturally would be a good position now for Isabel because she attacks into this rising motion of Elena. Unfortunately, she lands on the outside of uh, Elena's blade. So here's one blade, the other one is right behind. And that's a pretty, uh, a pretty nice parry from Elena, actually. And immediately she starts her counter, which is nothing else than a cut from left above towards the forearms and head of Isabel. So nice action. And then she eats the after blow. So here, I think this blow also landed on the mask of Elena. Okay, and then the referee calls halt. And I think no points uh, got awarded for this bout. Okay, second one. You see this tactic of Isabel of circling around to the right side. Okay, and now we see something different than the first part. We see Isabel again initiating the play by stepping into range. And Elena using, using that time, so that moment while Isabel steps, makes this small motion around here to make a first thrust. So you see the blade from Elena going forward here, which then Isabel deflects and Elena cuts around it, hitting the forearms of Isabel around here. Okay, next step now would be a shortening. So get the arms back here and the blade up here. Uh, which she kind of fails to do. In turn, Isabel cuts around, makes like a duplian du uh, motion around Elena's blade and to the head. And then referee calls hold again. Okay, so still zero zero. Okay, so 1-0, Elena got the point because she scored the first hit on the arms.
and we see again Isabel trying to take the initiative. Being out of range, launching herself forward. So we see a big stepping motion around here with the feet before the hand extend. So now the hand extend. Elena going back. I don't know if this landed actually on the glove here. Elena backward motion and again after her parry she goes for the forearms of Isabel. So Isabel after her thrust makes quite a big motion to turn around into another cut. Elena landing here. And then again, after this cut, Elena, stri uh, Isabel strikes around to the head of Elena. Okay, and that gets uh, awarded for Elena again. Okay, nice thrust here. Uh, let's have a look at the setup. We see Isabel advancing with half steps. So still really forward motivated. Trying to take the initiative here while Elena is more luring her in. Waiting for the big motion she can abuse. And here it is. Elena stops going backwards. You see planting her foot here. And now she raises her hands in the time that Isabel is still closing in. You see, hands are still low, so if the guard is low, the opening is up high. And Elena uses that quite beautifully, thrusting into the mask and flinging away actually the, the uh, head, uh, back of the head protection. So, quite a powerful thrust, and uh, it's actually pretty good this, that this thing flies away, because uh, of that the blade doesn't just rock back the head. Okay, next bout. Again, two points uh, for Elena. We get another thrust. We have a look. And actually, in this tournament, um, any blow or thrust to the head is awarded two points, as well as thrust to the torso, and everything else is just one point. So every blow to the hands would be one point. Okay, here again, let's see the tempo of stepping in. Let's have a close look at this. Isabel going right. She sees that Elena moves a bit, so placing her foot here so she doesn't go all the way around, but just a tiny bit. But while she is preparing for a quick uh, forward attack, Elena already pushes from her back foot and goes into the thrust again. So again, Isabel leading a bit with the body, giving the tempo to Elena who can just thrust in here and hitting home into the chest. Okay, which scores another two points for Elena. 
So Isabel has to do something different and you see it here. She's more reluctant to go in, instead waiting her time and then launches a flurry of blows. So let's see that again. So you see here, she takes some steps backward, waiting for Elena to close the distance. And launches as Elena uh, puts her back feet down. So now she launches, which in Balinese terms would be a bit too late. You want to launch your attack while your opponent lifts the front foot, especially the front foot, because it's a bigger tempo. So here, that would be the time. But here, Isabel can't go forwards because she still goes backwards. So here the tempo is already gone and now Isabel launches her attack. Elena is quite ready and waiting. Defense counters again to the forearms. It's pretty hard to see here, but that blow actually hit the forearm again. Defense strikes again to the hand and I think then she gets hit, yeah. So now Isabel strikes around the blade again and now she hits her head. But again, it's scored as a Nashlag, so two different tempi and it gets a one point for, uh, for Elena. And you just see um, the difference in experience here. So the commentators say Isabel has around 18 months of experience at this point. So she's a really great fighter. So for 18 months, that's brilliant. Brilliant to make it to the finals. But 18 months, that's not quite enough to get your measure right. And I think that shows here. So while stepping in, Elena lures and while Isabel is going forward and stepping in, Elena snipes to the hand, right? So it's a forward motion from Isabel, but it's not threatening. And that gives again a tempo to Elena to strike for the most opportune target, which is in this case, once again, the forearms. Bam. And then a flurry of blows, but get, gets mostly parried afterwards. Okay, a nice exchange. Let's have a look to the end. Yep. Okay. So let's watch it from the beginning. That's a pretty interesting one to have a closer look. So the setup is quite the same as in the la as last time. Isabel launching her attack. Elena luring her in, parrying the thrust towards her left, trying to counter with a blow, but now Isabel is pushing her arms upwards while she closes the distance, so, so she goes into somewhat uh, of a ringen, steps around, so this footwork is actually quite beautiful, tries to strike again from the right, but Elena's blade is still there. Elena, again, after her parry on the left, she tries to strike in from the left again, so using the closest 
attack she can imagine. So trying to go for the forms here again. This time her cover is not that great, so she uses a body void. Yeah, so she goes down to avoid this uh, blow with the false edge. Then we have some uh, Handdrücken or Schneiden by Elena. So here you can clearly see the blade uh, in contact with the forearms of Isabel. And a few blows and then I think they exchange a blow to the head. So here's a one-handed blow from Elena and a blow from Isabel as well. And I think um, the whole exchange is squashed, so no points get awarded. But still really interesting, so... And again, so the biggest takeaway from this fight is manage your distance and look for openings, okay? Because if someone rushes towards you, and now Elena really wants this tempo for herself, so you see this huge jump, tries to go in first, attacks the hands, goes to a parry, see here, and then immediately, without any hesitation, attacks to the next opening, which is again the right side of Isabel, so her forearms, her head, and that scores her a lot of points here in this fight. Okay, let's have a look here. Isabel, a bit more hesitation here. Elena, preparing her attack by dropping her weight. Launching herself forward with thrust, which gets parried. We are again in this Upper Krieg. And from here, actually, uh, Isabel hits directly to the hands of Elena. And it's a good clean hit here. So now she kind of has to move back and recover. Uh, but I think, yeah, so here the blade of Elena hits the hands of Isabel as well right in the tempo after and it still continues with an attack to the upper body from Isabel to Elena. And that scores the first point for Elena. So last bout in the first round and again you see just that beautiful distance management. Isabel hanging back in fluke, exposing her forearms, standing quite up tall, and Elena just going for it, pushing herself out for a lunge and going for that Juicy forearm, recovering and parrying. So really nicely, uh, really nice distance management from Elena here. All right, that concludes the first part of the fight. If you want to watch the whole thing, follow the link in the description. Three main takeaways. First, 
distance management, really important. So always watch your steps. And second, if you enter the fighting distance, present a threat, not just the target. If you present just the target and hold your sword low, you will get hit in the head. And third thing, don't stop the fight too early. If you're hit, or if even if you get hit, still try to keep defending yourself. Disengage properly, so you don't eat the afterglow. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you like the format, please let me know in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe and see you next time.